Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we will take a closer look at slice and splice method of array. We will understand what is the difference between slice and splice method. But before we dive into this method, I want to introduce concat method first. Now you know that you can add and remove array element at the beginning and at the end of the array. There is a method which add multiple elements at the end of the array, which is concat. In the previous lecture, we learned push, pop, unshift and shift method, which can insert element and return modified array. Now the concat method is a little bit different. Using concat method, you can insert array element at the end of the array. The best thing is, you can put multiple element at a time. This method will return original array. As you know, push, pop, unshift and shift method is returned a new modified array. Anyway, let's take an example of concat method. So I will just declare a simple numerical array here. So I will say constant arr is equal to and specify few elements. So I will say 1, 2 and 3. And I will just print this array on the console. Just after that, I just wanted to concat this array and I just wanted to add 4, 5, 6 in this array. So I will say console.log and specify my array name. So I will say arr dot. I will call the concat method. And in the parenthesis, I will specify 4, 5 and 6. Right? So when you execute this statement, this will return original array with modified element so you can see 4 5 and 6 is added at the end of the array right now let's head on to the main topic which is slice method now the slice method used to return sub array if you wanted to slice array and get sub array from that array then this method is for you slice method has two arguments the first argument where the sub array begins and the second argument where the sub array ends when you are specifying arguments you need to specify index value from where the sub array begins and where sub array ends this method allows you to specify negative indices when you want to count your array index from the end of the array for example so I will just create a new array here. So I will say constant arr2 is equal to and specify few elements. So I will say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? Now using console.log I will just print array with slice method. So I will say console.log specify my array name. So I will say arr2 dot i will just call my slice method so i will say slice here and in the parenthesis i will specify two here so this parameter refers to the second index it means this array start from the second index right from here right so when you execute this you will get three four and five on the console just after that, I will specify my second argument to the slice method. So I will say arr2 dot slice and specify 2 here where I wanted to start my array and specify second argument. So I will specify 4 here where I wanted to end up my array. So the 4 is referred to the index value 4. It means the 4 is refers to the fifth element of the array. Right? So when you execute this, you will get 3 and 4 on the console. Now I just wanted to print 5 on the console. To print that, I will just say console.log and in the slice method, I will just put minus 1. So this slice method start from the end and this will print 5 on the console. Now. We have another method which add and remove 
array element at any position which is splice splice method allows you to do in place modification of the string using splice method you can add and remove array element from any index isn't it great it is when you specify an argument the first argument is the index where you wanted to start modifying and the second argument is the number of element to remove and the remaining arguments are the element to be added right keep that into your account for example so i will just declare an array here so i will say constant arr3 is equal to and in the square bracket i will specify 1 comma 4 comma 5 now using splice method i just wanted to add 2 and 3 just after the first element so i will just say arr3 dot splice method so i will just call my splice method and in the parenthesis i will specify first argument one i just wanted to modify this array from the first index right and then i will specify my second index which is zero the zero refers to none it means i don't want you to remove any element from this array that is why i specify zero here if you wanted to remove any element then you can specify one two three or any value here just after that i will specify two arguments here which i wanted to add just after the first element so i will say two comma three right and just after that i will just print this array on the console so when you execute this you will get one two three four five on the console so you can see here i just added two and three element just after the first index right now if you wanted to remove any element then you can do that also now i just want to remove these two elements again so i will just specify arr3 dot i will just call my splice method and in the parenthesis i will just specify where i wanted to start so i will just start from the first index and how many element i wanted to remove so i just wanted to remove two elements from the first index so i will specify two here and just after that i will say console.log and print this array on the console so when you execute this this statement will start from the first index just after the first element and remove two elements from the array so this will remove two and three from the array and print the remaining array on the console so you will get one four five on the console right you can remove any element from any position in the array but you just need to understand where you wanted to start from and where you wanted to end up practice with these array methods doing practice will always help you to understand this method well that's it i hope you understand this lecture i have asked a question in the comment answering that question will help you to understand this topic and methods more easily that is all for now we will see you in the next tutorial